Is your LG TV's Wi-Fi suddenly turned off, leaving you unable to connect to your favorite streaming services or apps? This is a common issue that frustrates many LG TV owners. In this video, I will guide you through a series of troubleshooting steps designed to get your TV connected to Wi-Fi once again. Let's dive into the solutions to restore your smart TV's connectivity efficiently. First, let's figure out what's going wrong with your LG TV's Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi option is grayed out, there are no visible networks, or an error message says the Wi-Fi is turned off, we need to check a couple of things. Ensure your TV isn't in airplane mode, and check if other devices at home are connecting to the Wi-Fi. This helps us determine if the issue is with the TV or the network. Next, let's try power cycling your TV, which can often solve a surprising range of issues. Simply turn off your TV using the remote, then unplug it from the power outlet. Wait for about a minute before plugging it back in and turning it on. This process can reset the system and clear out any minor glitches. After you've done that, let's adjust a few settings that might be interfering with your Wi-Fi. Head into the Settings menu on your TV, navigate to General, and find Quick Start. Make sure to turn off Quick Start and any similar features, as these can sometimes prevent your Wi-Fi from working correctly. Moving on, let's tweak a couple of advanced settings that might just do the trick. Start by changing the location settings of your TV. Go into your settings, select All Settings, then General, and scroll down to Location. Here, change the LG Services country to a different country. You might pick Canada, for example. Confirm your choice and let the TV restart. Once it's back on, repeat these steps to change the location back to your actual country. But this time, make sure not to set it automatically. Next, let's manually set the time and date. Go back to the general settings, find date and time, and turn off the set automatically option. Now you can manually enter the correct time and date. These adjustments can sometimes kickstart the connectivity if there's been a hiccup with the automatic settings. Now, let's make sure your network settings are correctly configured, which could be key to solving the Wi-Fi issue. First, let's handle the DNS settings. Navigate to your TV's settings, then go to Network, followed by Wi-Fi Connection, and select Advanced Settings. Here you can set the DNS to Automatic, or if you prefer, you can manually input a reliable DNS server address you know. After that, check the DHCP settings to ensure they are correctly configured. This step is crucial because if DHCP isn't set right, your TV might be blocked from accessing the router. Making these adjustments can help clear up any network-related issues that could be affecting your TV's Wi-Fi connection. For our next step, let's focus on updating your TV's firmware which could resolve any lingering Wi-Fi issues. To do this, connect your TV directly to your router using an Ethernet cable. Once connected, access your TV settings, navigate to All Settings, select About This TV, and then choose Check for Updates. If there's an update available, follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Updating the firmware can enhance your TV's performance and might just solve your Wi-Fi problem. If the issue persists, you might consider a factory reset as a last resort. Remember, performing a factory reset will erase all your settings and preferences. To do a factory reset, go back to the general settings, scroll down to Reset to Initial Settings, and follow the prompts. You'll need to enter a PIN, which by default is 40, unless you've changed it. After the reset, your TV will restart with all factory settings restored. That's it for this video on troubleshooting the Wi-Fi issues on your LG TV. I hope these steps help you reconnect and get back to enjoying your smart TV's full capabilities. If you found this guide useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tech tutorials. Have any questions or do you have other troubleshooting tips that worked for you? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.